So this video is to help you manage your emails. Um, we're going to use the client um, Thunderbird to help achieve some of our goals. Um, but the same thing can be achieved in many other clients such as Outlook um, or anything local on your own computer. Um, we're going to look at how to back up your emails. Um, we're going to think about how to move to a new address and um, the same thing can be applied also to moving to a new server. Ideal if you're getting a new website and you want to move your email, um, current email address to this new server. Okay, so let's get going. We're going to bring up Thunderbird. Um, the reason we're using Thunderbird, as say other clients would work, um, because it's a piece of software installed on the computer we're using. And that means we can actually take the emails that are being stored elsewhere, such as on the server, and then download them to a local folder where they become um, stored on this particular computer. And from that point onwards, then we can move them to any other new email account we set up. So let me show you how to do that. Here's the email address we're going to be working with, one called test at sky, um, test site uk. And here we've got a selection of basic test emails, nothing particular special there, so it wouldn't matter if we lost them. Um, but this is a very safe method if you are planning to keep emails. So, um, also um, in Thunderbird, notice how we've got a thing called local folders here. And these are the folders that are being actually stored on this particular computer. Um, so what we can do is we can move these emails to a local folder. To do that, we need to create a folder. So I'm going to right click on the local folder thing and click new folder. I'm going to name it something relevant to um, our project. I'm going to name it, I don't know, um, test inbox and then create folder. And if we click on the little arrow here, we should see it there. So this is a folder which is being stored locally on this computer. And now what I can do is I can actually copy these emails to that folder, which is a, a backup. So I can select one of the emails and hit um, Control A to select all, and then right click on the selected emails and click move to local folders and then find the folder that we've just created and click that. It'll do it pretty quick. If you have a lot of emails, it may take some time to do. Down in the bottom left corner, it tells you the progress of how things are getting on. Once it's completed, then everything you've just copied should then appear in this folder here and you can see them there. At this stage, we can then set up any other new email address and then um, copy them from the local folder back to the actual server. So let me show you how to do that. Before progressing though, we need to um, rename this email account so things don't get confused. So I'm going to go into settings. I'm going to call the account name old and then click OK. And for any, let's say if you are setting up a, a replacement, the same email address but on a new server, you want to be very clear about which one's the old one and which one's the new one, otherwise things can get quite confusing. At this stage I'm going to pause the video, I'm going to then um, set up the new email address and then we can copy the copied emails to that new email address. So now I've set up a, a new email address called new at skytestsite.co.uk and um, we still have the old one running at the same time and this is ideal if you are say moving server and it does take time for a bit of propagation for the um, domain to actually move across or anything like that then you can have one, both email addresses running at the same time um, if they're duplicate email addresses and that means you never lose anything they'll either drop into one inbox or the other once um, as your server moves around domain wise and um, for now though we're now going to think about moving our current emails which are being stored in our test um, local folder and uh, we're going to move them into the new email address so i'm going to select that folder i'm going to then select all the control a to select all the emails in that particular folder and now i'm going to right click on them and click um, move to new inbox inbox and then we can look in the inbox here and we can see all the emails are there so this shows you how to transfer emails from one account to the other using Thunderbird and the process of using a local folder. Great for backing up, um, moving emails from one address to the other, or moving server um, if you're setting up, say, a new website. Hopefully this helps you out. Um, cheers for now.